Assalamu alaikum dear viewers, hope you are doing well. I am Shweba Madhayo, again here with another informative and interesting video related to the electrical machines and the MATLAB simulation. Dear viewers, today we are going to perform the experiment regarding the speed control of the DC series moon motor using armature resistance control method on the MATLAB software. So before doing this experiment, let us discuss some few points regarding the speed control of the DC series moon motor using armature resistance control method. So, the speed of the DC motor is can be defined as speed is directly proportional to the back EMF and inversely proportional with the flux per pole. A variable resistance is directly connected in series with the supply voltage. This reduces the voltage available across the armature terminals and hence the speed fall. So, this method implied to control the speed of the DC series moon motor using armature resistance control method. So, dear viewers, without wasting time, let let us do the experiment of the speed control of the DC series moon motor using armature resistance control method on the MATLAB software. So, dear viewers, our main objective of this experiment is to implement the circuit diagram of the speed control of the DC series moon motor using armature resistance control method on the MATLAB software. So, as already we know, the speed of the DC motor is given by the speed is directly proportional to the back EMF and inversely proportional to the flux per pole. So now you can see this is the circuit diagram of the speed control of the DC series motor using armature resistance control. As you can see in this diagram, this is the DC series motor in which the series field winding is connected in series with the armature winding and the DC supply is connected with the armature terminals of the DC series motor. So, a variable resistance is directly connected in series with the supply voltage. As you can see in this diagram, this is the armature resistance which is connected in series with this supply voltage. So, this reduces the voltage available across the armature and hence the speed will fall. And if the speed will fall, so as already we know that the relation between the back EMF and the speed so that the both are directly proportional to each other. So, this method implied to control the speed of the DC series motor. So, dear viewers, we have to implement the circuit diagram of the speed control of the DC series motor using armature resistance control method on the MATLAB software. Go to the power library. We need DC voltage source. We need series RLC branch. We need ground. We need DC machine, we need voltage measurement, go to the library browser, we need bus selector, we need gain block, we need constant block, we need display. So we are doing the experiment of the speed control of DC series wound motor using armature resistance control method. So according to the circuit diagram of the speed control of the DC series wound motor using armature resistance control. So this is the series RLC branch. So we need the armature resistance which is connected in series with the armature winding of the DC series wound motor. So, go to the properties of the series RLC branch, okay, and make it branch type as resistive R, okay, apply, okay. So, here the main function of the DC series moon motor is to convert the DC electrical power into the mechanical power. So, we are doing the experiment of the speed control of the DC series moon motor using armature resistance control method. So, according to this method, this armature resistance is connected in series with the supply voltage and with the armature winding and this armature winding is connected in series with this series field winding. So, connect the supply voltage with this uh, resistance, armature resistance and connect the armature resistance in series with the armature winding. Okay. Now, connect the armature winding in series with the series field winding. So, because this is the DC series wound motor, okay. Now, connect the negative terminal of the series field winding with the 
negative terminal of the supply voltage okay and then connect the ground with the negative terminal of the supply voltage so if we want to measure the voltage available across the armature terminals of the dc series wound motor normally called as the back emf so the function of this voltmeter will give us the value of the back emf in the case of the speed control of the dc series wound motor using armature resistance control method so connect this voltmeter in parallel with the armature winding of the dc series wound motor and this display will give us the value of the back emf in terms of the volts in the case of the speed control of the dc series wound motor using armature resistance control method so connect the measurement port of the dc machine with the bus selector go to the bus selector properties select speed wm radian per second apply okay so from the output of this bus selector we are getting the speed as a mechanical power output in terms of the radian per second so if we want to convert the speed from the radian per second into the revolution per minutes rpm so the function of this gain block is to convert the speed from the rps into the rpm so this display will give us the value of the speed in terms of the rpm so we are doing the experiment of the dc series wound motor using armature resistance control method so go to the properties of the dc machine here we have selected the mechanical input as a torque load okay so we are given the 240 volts dc to the armature winding of the dc series wound motor apply okay go to the properties of the dc machine go to the parameters here the armature resistance ran ohms is 0.78 ohm and the inductance of the armature is 0.016 henry field resistance in ohms is 100 ohm and the field inductance in henry is 112.5 henry the field armature mutual inductance in henry is 2 henry total inertia is 0.05 and the viscous friction 0.01 and the initial speed is 1 radian per second and initial field current is one so okay so from the output of this bus selector we are getting the speed as a mechanical power output in terms of the radian per second so if you want to convert the speed from the radian per second into the revolution per minute so the one radian per second is equal to the 9.55 rpm apply okay so we are doing the experiment of the speed control of the dc series wound motor using armature resistance control method so only we have to measure the speed in terms of the rpm and the back emf in terms of the volts by varying the armature resistance at the different values so first of all set the value of the armature resistance at the 10 ohm then measure the value of the speed in terms of the rpm and the back emf in terms of the volts in the case of the speed control of the dc series wound motor using armature resistance control method so set the value of the armature resistance at the 10 ohm apply okay run the simulation so now at the value of the 10 ohm armature resistance the speed we are getting in terms of the rpm in the case of the speed control of the dc series wound motor using armature resistance control method is 165.9 rpm and the back emf we are obtaining from the armature terminals which is 75.75 volts record these values in the observation table so this is the observation table of this experiment so at the 10 ohm armature resistance we are getting the speed in terms of the rpm is 165.9 rpm and the back emf in terms of the volts is 75.75 volts so again set the value of the armature resistance at the 15 ohm and again measure the value of the speed in terms of the rpm and the back emf in terms of the volts in the case of the speed control of the dc series wound motor using armature resistance control method run the simulation so now at the 
15 ohm armature resistance the speed in terms of the rpm is 151.2 rpm and the back emf in volts is 66.3 volts so record these values in the observation table so in this observation table when the armature resistance is at 15 ohm the speed we are getting in terms of the rpm is 151.2 rpm and the back emf in terms of the volts we are getting 66.3 volts and when the armature resistance was 10 ohm so the speed was 165.9 rpm and the back emf was 75.75 volts so from this observation table if we are increasing the armature resistance from the 10 ohm to the 15 ohm then the speed in terms of the rpm is decreasing from 165.9 rpm to the 151.2 rpm and also the back emf is decreased from 75.75 volts to the 66.3 volts because in the dc motors the back emf and the speed both are directly proportional to each other so in this experiment if we are increasing the armature resistance then the speed is false and also the back emf is false so now set the armature resistance value at the 20 ohm run the simulation so at the 20 ohm armature resistance the speed in terms of the rpm we are getting 138.3 rpm and also the back emf we are getting from this voltmeter is 58.32 volts record these values in the observation table so again in this observation table when the armature resistance is at 20 ohm so the speed in terms of the rpm is 138.3 rpm and the back emf in terms of the volts is 58.3 volts so now again they set the value of the armature resistance at the 25 ohm and again measure the value of the speed in terms of the rpm and the back emf in terms of the volts okay run the simulation so at the 25 ohm armature resistance the speed in terms of the rpm is 126.9 rpm and the back emf in terms of the volts is 51.56 volts so record these values in the observation table so again in this observation table when the armature resistance is 25 ohm so the speed is 126.9 rpm and the back emf is 51.56 so again set the value of the armature resistance at the 30 ohm and again measure the speed in terms of the rpm and the back emf in terms of the volts when the armature resistance is at 30 ohm run the simulation so here at the 30 ohm armature resistance the speed we are getting as a mechanical power output is double one six point eight rpm and the back emf in terms of the volts is 45.77 volts so record these values in the observation table so in this observation table when the armature resistance is at 30 ohm so speed we are getting in terms of the rpm is 116.8 rpm and the back emf in terms of the volts is 45.77 volts so from the experiment of the speed control of the dc series bone motor using armature control method it is concluded that if we are increasing the armature resistance from the 10 ohm up to the 30 ohm so the speed is decreasing from 165.9 rpm up to the 116.8 rpm and also the back emf is decreased from 75.75 volts up to the 45.77 volts because according to the relationship between the speed and the back emf in the dc motors both are directly proportional to each other so here in this experiment if we are increasing the armature resistance then the speed is fall and also the back emf is false so dear viewers this was the experiment of the speed control of the dc series wound motor using armature resistance control method that we have done on the matlab software so dear viewers this was the experiment regarding the speed control of the dc series moon motor using armature resistance control method that we have done 
on the MATLAB software in which we have observed the result of the speed in terms of the RPM at the different values of the armature resistance in terms of ohm in the case of the speed control of the DC series wound motor using armature resistance control method. So I hope that you have enjoyed today's experiment. So at the last, do subscribe my YouTube channel Shwebe Madayo for more informative videos related to the electrical engineering, electrical machines and the MATLAB simulation. Thank you.